Welcome to the 11, and don't forget to subscribe. Most often we hear about billionaire people in the world, who are mostly men, but today, I am going to tell you about a woman who is not only a billionaire, but also the richest woman alive. It is impossible that you wouldn't have heard of L'Oreal, the top cosmetics and personal care brand, but it is most probable that you haven't heard of Francoise Betancourt Myers, the richest woman in the world in 2023 and vice chairman of L'Oreal. Betancourt Myers is the only daughter and heiress of Lillianne Betancourt and the granddaughter of L'Oreal, founder Eugene Schuler. After the death of her mother on September 21, 2017, Betancourt Myers became the heir to her mother's estate. At the time of her death, Lillianne Betancourt had a net worth of $44.3 billion US dollars and was the 14th richest person in the world. Upon her inheritance of her mother's fortunes, Betancourt Myers became the richest woman alive on earth as well as one of the 20 richest people in the world. Born in France on July 10, 1953, she is 69 years of age. She is married to Jean-Pierre Myers, who is the grandson of a rabbi who was killed in the Auschwitz concentration camp. She has two children, John Victor and Nicholas, who were raised in the Jewish tradition. Her son, Nicholas Myers, serves as one of the board members of L'Oreal. She is highly renowned for her spiritual side and has written books on Jewish-Christian ties and Greek mythology. She has authored books about Catholicism, the tribes of Israel, Judaism, and the genealogy of Adam and Eve. In addition, Betancourt Myers leads her family's charitable foundation, which promotes advancement in the arts and sciences in France. L'Oreal and the Betancourt Myers family have come to an agreement to contribute $226 million towards Notre Dame Cathedral's restoration after the April 2019 fire. Her family became involved in a nasty scandal in 2008, when Françoise Betancourt Myers sued the French photographer François-Marie Bainier for defrauding her mother and obtaining money from her. She said that Bainier had taken advantage of Lillianne Betancourt's frail mental state and emotional receptivity to deceive her into giving him cash and gifts totaling about a billion dollars. Among other things, the gifts included a large number of life insurance plans. Bainier was a close friend of Lillianne Betancourt, therefore, she took offense when Betancourt Myers filed a lawsuit against him. The mother and daughter's relationship deteriorated as a result. Betancourt Myers, her mother, and Bainier reached an out-of-court settlement following protracted legal proceedings. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more informative videos like this.